Hello YouTube, this is going to be a setup video of my home business binder, my work planner. She's an A5, obviously. Oh, we've got the cat in it today since I'm doing the video from bed. Miss! Psst! She doesn't. Everyone thinks she looks grumpy, I don't think she looks that bad. But anyway. Um. Yeah, A5 orange, obviously. She has a tiny mark here. Don't know if you can see. Um. Yeah, she's got a tiny little mark, but I don't really mind. So, over here I have post it notes. More post it notes. They're just little ones. But they're like page tags as well, so. Can stick something out like that, and now can't get it back in. Wow! There we go. Um, I have these little labels. Oh, this is for Courtney because she wanted to see how I've got it set up. I've got these labels with my um logo on. Um, so what I do is with each order, I have a tag that I put enjoy, it, and then I will. See if I can do this one handed. Doesn't look like it. There we go. I will take said label and put it it's gone a bit wonky, but never mind. On the bottom of the tag. And then I write a little note on the back just saying like if there's any problems to let me know where you can find me on Facebook. And then I've got little packet which I made out of a card holder for that came with my medium Julia I think it was the blue one then just cut it up and filled it with these little sticker flake flakes I'm gonna throw over there a little bit of washi tape to hold it down but I just put a few of these in with each order just like they're all different cute things. I think that's a cupcake. To get really far away, otherwise it goes fuzzy. It's a little cupcake. Just put a couple of those in with each person's order. Um, it's just something nice. You can peel the back off and stick them in whatever you want. And now I can't stick it back down. Everything is so difficult when you do it one-handed. So if I'm a bit cold, quiet and sniffly, I have a bit of a cold coming, I think. Um, Happy Charms, everyone saw the other day, my little elephant, there's two on here actually, there's a green green one that's got um, little chairs and some little birds on, and then my elephant that's my brown one, and then front page I have clear flyleaf, which is supposed to have that stuck to it, but it always comes off, and then I have one of my prints, which is discovered, another one of my prints. Then I have this, which I might art journal from watching Courtney's video. She does a lot of stuff on pages that have writing, which I thought it always looks quite nice. So there's a page there that I might art journal. Then I come to my dividers, which are monthly. They're all done monthly because it's easier for me to work out so the January one has a sh sheet of orders where I put down people's orders so I can keep track um, and then any pictures I'm turning the camera I apologise um, pictures that I find that I quite like for inspiration um, I put in because Obviously, I found them in January, so put them in here. I'm going to. I think that's going to be. I might use those in my next drawing. Quite nice, little cute ones. I think if anyone's seen my stuff, they like. I like to draw mushrooms. <laughs> so. So then January was quite quiet. 
so then it comes to my February tab which is much the same I have people's addresses on this page so I'll show you a blank sheet oh I have this which I've hole punched so I can just like a page marker I can put in and out with all my prices on so I don't forget um, and then my order forms from which DIY fish made for me um, they start off with the date and the name so I put the date that they ordered their name obviously item what color they requested and how much it comes to so then I will put them one after the other each colors if there's a color prices obviously and then at the bottom I'll put shipping obviously just put a dash and then the total that the order comes from and because um, if they if they order more than one thing obviously the name will be on the first line and there'll be more lines down obviously for um, each order so there's a gap so there'll be like three or four lines here that are blank so in there I write their address so that obviously I know where I'm sending it to and then over here in the cost yeah the total bit um, so in the items once I've put all their bits they're ordering so it'll be like dividers or whatnot um, I'll then at the bottom put shipping and then I will package up the order put it in the envelope and weigh it and then charge obviously I'll go and find an estimate of what well, a quote on how much the shipping is going to cost then write that in then so then underneath that I'll then put total add it up I don't think I've made any sense there so um right so <laughs> there's a pen this might be easier if I write it down do I have a pen wow I don't have a pen on me okay so if they've got a5 divider and then like a page marker and then some other bits I'll put the colors and put how much each item is then underneath that I'll put shipping I'll weigh it go onto the website find out how much the shipping is going to cost based on the weight then write that over here on the same line as shipping then underneath that I'll put total add up all the order and shipping and then write that at the bottom and then over here I will put a little P so when they pay or when I invoice and then write the date in after and then after that I'll put an S generally on the same line as it is over here for shipping and write the date which I send it off so I can estimate when it's going to arrive and keep track of what's where if that makes no sense just let me know because I don't think it does and then I think it's, it's set up quite the same for the other months these are all blank dividers at the minute because whichever order forms I don't use here I will just move to the next month so if I go to the back this is another one of my prints and I have it as a divider for notes where I write I did a rack so I'm covering up people's names but then I wrote them there just any notes on DIY fish stuff then I have another one where I have traced page markers for if I need to find page markers quick because I keep rearranging my room to or my craft area where I work to make it tidier and I keep losing where I put everything so I have no idea where my black card is now but I'm okay because I've already got some in here with the these are personal page markers drawn out so then I can just draw on them cut them out send them off so that's fine then I have uh, another divider which I'm working on so that's there and so like I'll trace it onto the page then hole punch it stick it in this is for personal so it doesn't take up the whole page I have a few blank sheets for when I do things like that um, and a clear fly leaf here this is um, I've just taken out another page which I did have here I'm going to rewrite it um, because I buy a lot of my stuff online like my sticker flakes I have to get online um, I'll write what the business name where I get them then the website address and um, I generally just leave that bit blank but 
this way I can keep track of where I'm buying things so if I need new refill ink because I have to get the ink for the pens I use I can't find in England I have to get it from China or Japan so then I can write down the websites where I'm buying from or if I'm there's a specific eBay seller that sells like big buys of the ink and the refills I can write them in as well so that's handy for me to keep track I have A to Z tabs at the top of the back which I have no idea whether they're there um, I have a set of blank dividers which I just use for A5 when I'm tracing obviously to cut out the prints I just use these so the dividers will write and then at the back I have a set of dividers which are um, ready to send off if anyone orders A5 set so they're just at the back um, card I'm waiting on some business cards and when they arrive I'll put them in there the ruler at the back to stop it from getting damaged by the rings and that is it I think so yeah that's my Custody and my cat. <laughs> Alright, if there's any questions, uh, comment, comment below. Please like and subscribe and whatnot, and I will see you soon. Bye!